Welcome to episode 150. Today I talk with Sumantha Shankaranarayana, Senior Conversion Rate Optimization Manager at Kaspersky Labs, and we learn how Kaspersky approaches and combines Zero for both B2B and B2C, and how being a movie critic might make you a great Zero specialist. My name is Guido Jansen and welcome to Zero Cafe, the award-winning podcast where I show you the behind the scenes of large and small optimization and growth teams and talk with their specialists about data and human-driven optimization. My goal with the Zero Cafe podcast is to make websites and the lives of optimization specialists a lot better. And we're doing this by spreading a mindset of experimentation and validation and by improving the quality of standards in digital marketing. You are a vital part in reaching this goal. And one important way for you to help out is by sharing relevant episodes with your colleagues. And if you're not subscribed yet yourself, make sure you are by checking this in your podcast app. It really means a lot and your actions do make a difference. So thank you for doing this. In case you missed the previous episode, last week I was joined by Bas Wouters and we spoke about the launch of their book titled Online Influence. You can listen to that episode on www.shiro.cafe or in the podcast app that you're listening with right now. This episode of Shiro Cafe is made possible by our partners Online Dialogue, Sitespec, Online Influence Institute, Content Square and Convert.com. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 44. Sumantha, welcome to the Shiro Cafe podcast. And to kick things off, we'd love to know a bit more about your background and how you got started awesome. in Zero. Awesome. I mean, first off, uh, lo lo love to be here. Uh, great podcast. I've, I've been listening to other episodes. And, and, and you know, you're right. You know, Shiro is not taught in schools and things like that. For me, it started off, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really strange. You know, I started optimizing storylines and scripts and things like that by watching movies. You know, I you know one one of my first movies that that I saw in in, in a theater was Jurassic Park. Yeah, the, 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 the original. In, in 1994. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 1994. You know, since then it started uh, relaying out. Okay, what if the director had made this cut in in a different order, or what if there was a flaw and and the director did not pick it up, or the, or the film crew did not pick it up. Mm -hmm. You know, what what if it was Jurassic Park and, and there was a, a plane flying above, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 incorrect. I mean, not saying that that that, that was the thing in, in in Jurassic Park, but there's there's so many such mistakes that you get to see, you know, especially by uh, by vetting others' work, and and you have to carry that uh, that in your humble roots, right? So you you, you, you were watching those movies like second by second, frame by frame, to see what no, what, what they did, or it, 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 was, it, it, it was just flowing, right? It was just flowing, and and I got this intrinsic ability where I could actually pick out flaws and 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 state that okay, this is incorrect. You know that 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 was a natural uh, tendency because you know you know that's that's way too back in time, but but obviously I studied, grew up, did my engineering. In, in information science and engineering, which is equal to information technology elsewhere, uh, and 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 then quite clearly, I had this notion of uh, technological aspects, the limitations of of what what a particular landing page could be, mm -hmm. and and how we could increase speed or performance. And I also had this flair towards you know storytelling and 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 getting the right concept, the right notion, you know, just just seeing things as as users do. You know, so, so, some some of the biggest wins that, that I've got in my A/B testing career is is just by understanding how people actually behave, how they interact with their daily lives. You know, <laughs> you, you know one one of my biggest A/B test success is is a five hundred percentage uplift, and that happened struck, you know, at, at the dead of night. Uh, probably this was twenty sixteen, uh, where I where I had a lot of laundry pending, and and I had to get my washing machine uh, up. And and that that thing was happening, and and you know, I was watching this uh, series, which was called uh, uh, the Big Bang Theory. Obviously, yep. uh, a, a, a lot would, would have heard. And you know, I'm, I'm an Indian, right? And I was at the time working <coughs> for a U.S. site. So how do I learn cultures? And and obviously, I've, I've been seeing Hollywood movies, and and I know a lot. But you know, there's there's also this uh, notion where where you get to see uh, certain things, where you get to visualize certain things. You know, imagining how things are set up, how things are shown, and things like that. 
So on one hand, I've, I've got my washing machine, which is running, and that is throwing, you know, different kinds of lights and all of that. Yeah. And, and on the other hand, I'm, I'm seeing uh, television where, where on the telly, uh, Penny is talking to Sheldon and, and, and they're driving in a car. And, and Sheldon is petrified because Penny's car, uh, you know, the engine check light on is, is, is on. It has caught his attention. And he's petrified that, okay, that, you know, the oil in, in the engine might, might not be up, up to the mark. So I got this readily available notion where I could connect. You know, I was, I was working on the lead gen site and, and I, I knew audience at, at the back of my mind were, you know, uh, were, were not like angsters. They, they could, you know, pick up design cues and things like that. Uh, we had a pretty big uh, lead gen firm and I introduced phone leads. And, and, and there was a dialer which is, which is blinking and, and attracting end users' attention right there. They could uh, click that, easily uh, speak to a rep and, 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 and you know, give their information and, and collect everything. And this was based on, on, on a particular zip code where, where we covered services and things like that. And, and the next day when, when I looked up, I mean, uh, little knowledge takes and all of that, I, I looked up database as well. And yeah, it, 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 it was through, through the roof. So, so that happened because of a simple change. What I did was, you know, adding animate.css to a dialer. And that was blinking <laughs> in a way where, yeah. you know, where, where people would interact with actual devices and how, what, what they're used to. You know, that, that picked, picked up their attention and, and yeah. there was a need for them to actually utilize this particular service. Yeah, that's, that's a perfect example and, of, of cognitive ergonomics yeah. and, and, and uh, how people pay yeah. attention. And uh, like indeed with, with Penny in the car, uh, the, the, the engine light is, is blinking or maybe not even blinking, just turned on. But it's always turned yes. on. Nothing happens. So <laughs> apparently it's fine. <laughs> Nothing happened so yeah. far. Yeah. Yeah. That and, 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 and you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's like a learning tip, right? R right here, what, what I do is, you know, I'm always learning. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm on an infinite learning curve. Always learning. Even, even with, with our conversation and things like that, you know, there's, there's always scope for, for learning. Yeah. You know? And, and it's, it's about, you know, we've laid out on, on this particular platform where, where I'm learning from you as well. Yeah, that's and, good. And it's, it's, same, <laughs> it's the same, for, it's, it's same for, for all sensory uh, organs, right? Be, be it hearing or, or seeing stuff or understanding context behind. Yeah. So, so, so the blinking effect, you know, I, I got that uh, the engine check light is always on, but the blinking effect came down when, when I was driving down an Indian road it, it was a busy stretch. There's so many uh, shops around, but but only a medical shop or, or a uh, you know pharmacy got got my attention because its board was was propping out a little bit outside, and there's this plus sign that that uh, you know chemists and, and pharmacists use here in India, which which is a green plus sign, and that was blinking. There were like literally hundreds and hundreds of shops, and I still recall just knowing this this particular outlet because you know the sign was blinking and it was direct in 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 in, in, in the uh, you know in the line of sight. Yeah. So, so I could I could you know uh, irrespective of big boards and, and things like that, which are all parallel to me, uh, I I couldn't see them. And there's this one tiny board which sticks out. And there's, there's that sign that's blinking. And I know, okay, here's, here's a medical shop. I, I don't have to break up abruptly. I know that that's coming up. I could go and park safely. Yeah. Right? And that's, 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 that's the feature because there's, there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic behind as well. Yeah. Yeah, traffic is and, and traffic is a very interesting uh, topic for uh, well, some of my uh, my former um, uh, colleagues in, in university that are in in that area in in, in either either uh, traffic for cars uh, on yeah. on the road or I, I remember a lot of examples uh, in my study. Uh, I, I, I've I've told it uh, a couple of times, but my study had done nothing to do at university. Had nothing to do with anything online. <laughs> there were a lot of offline uh, examples there, but one of them was, for example, yeah. uh, with uh, train drivers, or I think maybe the engineers that they are called. I think the, the people steering the <laughs> steering the trains or, yeah. or yeah, guiding yeah. them over yeah. the tracks, and uh, a lot of them were were missing signs. Uh, like the, the red signs basically and, and then they just drove through them causing accidents and um, so 
people in my in my profession started taking pictures. Okay, what what do they actually see outside of the uh, outside of the windows? And usually it's it's a big mess. Uh, you really spread there, there yeah. are a lot of lines going everywhere, uh, especially when yeah. you when you approach stations. There are a lot of different tracks, a lot of uh, yeah. overhead lines uh, with all the power uh, cables and a lot of uh, there are a lot of uh, signs everywhere. Uh, and then you understand, yeah, it's th that's information overload. It's very easy to imagine someone missing a sign. Yeah, so what can we do yeah, about that? Yeah, and yeah. the same thing sure. for, for regular roads, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and that's where, you know, when, when you're designing systems or, or building learning pages or working on a product and things like that, you you have to have uh, this, this user-centricity notion in, yep. in place. You've got to have certain heuristics in place. You know, easily things, things could go wrong, but, you know, just sitting in their shoes, and, and understanding, okay, how is that that this particular person is, is going to perceive uh, the kind of information that you put? You know, you, 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 could, you, could, you could state something which makes sense to you as, as, as a business owner or, or as a practitioner, but is that tangible enough, right? Is, is that, you know, is that 100 percentage being conveyed to, to the other person who's reading it? Because in the end of the day, we, it's, it's not all, of, all about sites and things like that because we want to impact uh, you know the end user's perception, the mind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, and obviously, and obviously, uh, you know the, the product has to be uh, you know full of value proposition. If not, you, you cannot sell it, and and that's yeah. that's how it is. And and it's 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 simple that you know if, if you miss out on that step, you know there's there's always going to be something like this happening where you know you, you don't know you know for example there's there's a copywriter who's who's, who's writing a landing page for. But does not know who, who the audience is. Yeah. What is that he's going to write about? Yeah. Exactly. Right? If, if there's no persona which is which is in, in the back of his mind, the, the kind of ones and the kind of pain points that, that he has, he's, he's not able to draft something which 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 you know sets in, in such a way where it communicates all the value propositions and all the benefits in, in such a way, right? Yeah. Where where uh, you know, as and when a person reads, my thumb rule is Again, heuristic is, is as and when people people read content, they have to nod their head. Yeah. You know, in agreement. If they're not, it's it's so diverse, then try and reach a common point where, where the other person or, or different types of personas agree to a point. Yeah, especially, that, it, uh, especially yeah, if you yeah. have a really wide audience for your for your website yeah. or for your product in general, yeah. uh, there can be a yeah. lot of different ways people people view this, right? Uh, that, that's always yeah. what I find very interesting when doing user research and, and giving people basically the same stimuli uh, or, or the same website, the same product, and you get so many that's different right. opinions on that. It's a, bit, it's, it's a bit like you can imagine those those Rorschach uh, tests uh, that psychologists just use you know the the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the ink yeah. blobs yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. everyone sees something different and yeah. you might not expect this with websites i mean they're they're less ambiguous than, <laughs> than an ink blob you hope uh, but there's still so many different uh, ways of viewing something because of your background absolutely. or whatever yeah absolutely i mean you know your background is different your cultures are different you're yeah. brought up differently and 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 the way you, you know there's, there's also this uh, test that, that i recall of where, you know, I, I think this was conducted in India where, where, you know, a person walks up to, to a group of, uh, you know, children playing and, and says that, you know, this, uh, this just, you know, children playing from, from different backgrounds, you know, they're, they're poor uh, children and, and there was, uh, you know, as well as rich affluent families who are, who are coming and playing in the ground. And, and to one set, uh, this particular guy hands out uh, a box of sweet and says that you know, if you're willing to wait uh, 10 more minutes, I'm going to give you two, two boxes of sweet. Yeah, and, and guess what? What happens? You know, uh, you know, children from, from, from rich and affluent uh, backgrounds can wait because they've already eaten such sweets. You know, they're, they're going to think like, okay, uh, 10 more minutes, so I'm going to get two, two boxes of sweet. If not, if everything, all of this was a hoax, this this there's exactly. no money because you know I I end up eating sweets anyway. But if you flip that uh, equation and 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 for a guy from from a poor background or, or for for a child from a poor background, he's never eaten a box of sweets. He's going to grab that immediately and run away, right? He's you know even though if, if entire thing was true and and he's you know uh, even if he was uh, going to get two boxes. But he's not going to wait because 
you know, uh, there's there's just that urge that he's not even sweet, and he wants to grab that right right now and, and run away. Yeah. Yeah, and there's there's uh, research going on for with doing this exact test with with children, right? And and uh, having that as a uh, prediction for future success. And apparently, there's 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 some correlation there at least with yeah. the, the kids that can wait. Um, yeah. um, well, they're you're more patient, and that apparently leads to or <laughs> correlates to uh, it, more it, success it, in, it, in your even future. At, even at work, right? Even yeah. at work, you, you know, especially. The newer age, the new workforce, you know, uh, they don't know how to delay gratification. It's like, okay, yeah. I, I want to join a company, I, I want to reach this post, I want to do that, I want to do this, but but they do not think for a second, yeah. or, or rather about the company. So, and that's so how a lot, of, I, a lot of companies yeah. are organized, right? I mean, you, you have the, the, the most people work with really short term incentives, uh, whether that's yep. bonuses or just general appraisal for the work that you do. It's all short yep. term. It's, it needs to be successful this this week, this month, this this quarter, or at least the, the longest term is probably this year, but it's still relatively yep. short term if you look at business. And I, th- yep. I see that's, as a, that's an issue, that's a challenge for a lot of people, specifically in CRO. Um, because a CRO pro- program is not, if you if you set it up properly, it's, it's not gonna give a big result in four weeks. Yep, yep. And 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 it's even if you did get it, it's it it, it does not mean that it's going to repeat, right? Because yep. it's it's a long learning process. Because it's it's not about wins and losses. It's kind of insights that you get and and, and the kind of areas that that you apply at. If if you are at a larger organization, say if it is making billions of dollars. One such insight is it's really going to give you millions of dollars in uplift in, in revenue or, yeah. or in average auto values. And, and just imagine a series of A-B testing uh, in a test across uh, in acquisition or across uh, shopping carts and things like that for over a period of a year. The, the cumulative cart revenue for a champion could, could, you know, the impact could, could be huge. Yeah. And, and that's what businesses wouldn't understand. And, and they're like, okay, Sumanda, can you get this done? And in, in, in a week, I've done uh, you know things like that in, in the past, especially while while consulting, where where you know there was this uh, particular huge huge uh, uh, I'll, I'll not be able to name them, yeah. but you know, at, at least the segment is you know classifieds, online classifieds, mm-hmm. and they've got like three hundred uh, sites, yeah. And, and, you know, I, I did a simple teardown of their site and, and the very next day, I'm, I'm on a plane uh, meeting their, uh, you know, VP of product, their VP of engineering, their CTO, for example. Yeah. And, and that's the power uh, that, that we could spread. And that's, that's the impact that we could actually show it to them. And, and this organization had, had a lot of, uh, you know, uh, best talent around because they, they came from premier Indian institutes, like, like any issue of technology, for example, the product managers were, you know, they, they all studied in IIT. Uh, you know, so, so some of the great institutes the world has ever seen because you know the knowledge, the knowledge that that these uh, institutes spread is, is immense. Uh, the technological process is, is out of this world, uh, and 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 you know, uh, some some of the employees who were part of this particular organization, they did not know what. What experimentation was, or what conversion rate optimization meant. Yeah, you know, they, they're open about it, and and that's how you have to also establish that rapport uh, between, say, a consultant and internal team member, where where they get to see that okay, that you're an extension of the arm, basically. Yeah, it's it's not like you, you go go there and say you know uh, go left and right and say that you did this wrong, you did that wrong. This is not how it is done, but rather build rapport and. and 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 know what's what's uh, what's the inside story. What is that that they are working on, and how is that you could actually help and and achieve uh, you know the benefit for the com- company, right? For over ten years now, online dialogue advises about evidence-based conversion optimization with a focus on data and psychology. We see that analyzing data and recognizing customer behavior results in a better online dialogue with your clients and a higher ROI. The team of strategists, analysts, psychologists, and UX specialists gathers valuable insights in the online behavior of your visitors, and together with you, they optimize the different elements of your CRO program through redesign, expert reviews, A-B tests, and behavioral analysis. 
For more information about their services, go to onlinedialogue.com. The story when you started watching movies, you said I I, I developed a queen uh, a, a keen eye uh, to to uh, to see flaws, <laughs> yes. uh, which is useful <laughs> as a zero, which is yeah. useful, but it, it's not it's not a it's not a nice trait to have in conversations <laughs> or in yeah, meetings. Absolutely. I mean, it's just like it is, there's this you know six hundred odd crore company which which is doing a lot of great business, yeah. and you go there and say that you you're not doing this. Right Right, you're not doing that right. I mean, just imagine uh, if I talk about Apple, for example, you know, a trillion dollar company, and I, and I go there to, to a part guy and say that you've done this wrong, you've done that wrong. Yeah. I mean, exactly. You, you, need, to do, you need to do some tra translation, basically, <laughs> into some exactly. nicer words, <laughs> phrase yeah, it in a better way. Nice words, and, and it is also about identifying certain patterns where, where they've actually done uh, stuff well, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, there's, there's already a foundation in. And you want to create a structure. You, know, you want to create a create this regimen where that works like clockwork, right? Uh, this regimen of, of experimentation of, of getting yeah. things done. And 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 we had like what a week's time before the huge ad rollout was was uh, due here in India. Massive budgets and and we worked on registration and and, and the organization gained a lot a lot yeah. in terms of new signups and. And and you know if if that thing plays a, a ready a, you know you know almost that uplift actually increases your bottom line as well the number of paid customers because you're putting in more users uh, in engaging with with the apps and and websites and stuff yeah so so it's it's about you know it's it's a two way street right it's it's about them realizing that and and they they did mention that they've got conversion. You know, that's that's a great sign that you know that's a great sign that the client is, is is willing to put effort as well and and for for our ab experimentation programs mm -hmm. you know we had the top level priority and and i've seen some some of the best engineers work uh, work with me in, in creating uh, funnels and in, in QAing things mm -hmm. uh, you know for probably a floor full of 200 odd product designers content writers qa testers uh, in support teams and things like that, and and I had the number one priority. I mean, that's that's a boost as well, right? I mean, uh, you know, I, I was the kind of guy who'd, who'd reach early there. Uh, I was stationed at their uh, workplace for about three to four weeks, and, and on a daily regimen, uh, you know, be, being one of the first guys, uh, the VP of product would always be. But but I was the last guy to walk out, yeah. <laughs> you know, because I had this. I, you know, I had this notion of, of setting tests up, you know, clearing dues from, from, from the last day, planning the day or plan, planning next day's activities as well, the roadmap uh, at a stretch because we are at a very tight schedule. Uh, traffic was, 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 was not a problem at all because they, they, they get millions and millions yeah. of views. And, and it's all, all, all about the bottom line, right? The, the kind of uh, conversion uplift we could draw and, and, and there's, there's a new advertising uh, which 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 was about to roll a uh, pan India, uh, so so TV commercials and things like that. Yep. They're, they're going big scale on on, on marketing. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that's where you know brought in this regimen and, and people actually stuck by it. And, and there are also questions, you know, say if if, if I'm getting tens of tests done, I, I was only implementing the winning variant, and and, and the engineers were were, were like a, uh, in a lot pissed off because they're like. Sumanta, you're getting me to build like 10 pages, but that is not going onto the site. <laughs> yeah, sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so that's that's the education bit yeah. where, where you have to come and convey that. You know, look, you know, if 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 I say all those tens and millions of profit, if I draw that to just hundred odd audience, right? And and you want to test in, in such a way where you know, would, would you like to split 50-50 and, and, and test and wait? Or would, would you do something which is more incremental where would you say that uh, for the first 10, you apply a fix or you, you apply a particular variant and, mm -hmm. and learn from that and apply, you know, all those learnings uh, that, that, that came along, you, along your way and, and all those insights on, on to the next 10. Yeah. Right. And, and that's where you're, you're actually improving your conversion rate.
Exactly. And, and and the kind of test that, that you've done for the first 10, it's it's stuck away because you, you built on that. You, you made that more robust. You made that much better. Why, why do you want to stick with that? Yeah. So we, we are, and, yeah. we're already talking for half an hour, um, uh, but we haven't actually <laughs> spoken about what you actually do. <laughs> so let, let, let's, take, let's take a small step back. Uh, yeah. And, and um, so, so what do you do at, uh, at Kaspersky? Uh, you're a senior CRO uh, there. What are the kind of That's projects right. uh, you work on and how does your team look like and uh, that kind of stuff? That's what we want to know yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so, so basically... It's it's a global CRO team. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 both centralized and decentralized in a way because it's it's a huge uh, digital team, and and obviously the global CRO team is everywhere, right? We are in the UK, uh, here in India, in in Russia, obviously in, in China and, and things like that. Yeah, and and you know one 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 of the key goals is, or rather for any organization for that matter is to improve their landing pages. Mm -hmm. and, and, and landing pages is, is more uh, important because, you know, that's that's your first touch point, you know, be, be it a paid ad or, or an organic landing page and things like that. And, and that's where you, you want to ensure that, you know, you're giving the best information out there for, for your end users. You're, you're having certain frameworks and, and growth models in place, you know, where it works best for, for, a, for, for a particular region. You know, again, coming back to that US example, <laughs> Maybe that's that's something which which worked in US might not work in Germany because I don't have that local insight in, in Germany and that's where you study and, and bank on research and, and we've got a great uh, research team in uh, in, in Kaspersky as well. Yeah. Do, do you and mainly for, do you mainly work on the, on the B two B or B two C landing pages? It, it's it's both. Yeah, it's it's both. It's both. I mean, it, in it 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 has its separate parallel tracks, obviously, mm -hmm. and and. Uh, you know, at times you have to wear a B2B hat while, while you're working on, on, on B2B stuff. You know, it's, it's more like, I mean, at least for people, uh, especially for cybersecurity and things like that, or, or for any other uh, bigger enterprise stuff, I mean, people might see that as as as, as a bit boring or, 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 or you know, not not as, uh, you know, it's 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 more of a perception where people see that this this is a bit lifeless than than B two C, but mm -hmm. that's not the case, right? I mean, you, you you could always tweak things. I mean, you you might have less traffic, uh, but you've got chance to do usability tests. You're you're more uh, qualitative approach where where yeah. you could bank on on, on certain stuff. And, well, and you, could, you, it, you have you it, have less less traffic you know, to work with, but the impact can also be bigger. Yeah, yeah it, it is bigger, and you could you could give. Uh, at your own flair, the, the flair of the brand for what it stands. For example, for what Eugene Kaspersky stands, what mm -hmm. what he thinks and believes, and what the organization believes in. Yeah. And and that's that's the kind of impact that 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 could be drawn than being more saturated than thinking of of this particular opinion that no no enterprise clients like something which is which is saturated and plain and and big big uh, chunks of text and, and things like that. So yeah. so you could you. You know, it's 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 more about being, uh, you know, showing that flair, and and capturing uh, the attention of uh, in in the B two B setting because end of the day, you know, B two B is what a, a board of people could could be a CFO, yeah. a, a CIO, a CEO, and and obviously you're you're going to target one of uh, one of them and and convert them as as an internal champion for your product services. Mm -hmm. And and that's how things things can change. Yeah. Uh, you know, sales slide, uh, sales cycle could could be pretty long and things like that. But but that's still okay. I mean, at least you know that you know you, you're doing stuff that people are admiring, right? You know, uh, some 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 of the key metrics like like people should track ideally is is not only like let's say B two B is a lot more uh, legion and things like that. People stick with metrics like uh, you know open rate, click rates, and things like that on image, yeah. And and nobody focuses on on something like okay, how many of them <coughs> actually replied back? Yeah. Did did you receive a positive message for every email that you sent out? Did you get an acknowledgement? Did did you get something in in, yeah. in, in routine? You know that's the kind of conversation that you want to carry out. And one of such B two B deals could could be several thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and yeah, like you said, the the main bottleneck might not even be on your website; might be email. Yep, 
Yep. Yep. Yeah. So how, how, and, how does your how do you, sorry? How, yeah. how do your products? Uh, what kind of people do you do you work with? So do do you have like internal user research, front end development? But what what are the, the the roles that you regularly interact with? I mean everybody, right? You know, starting from from research. Yeah, uh, the, 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 there's, there's so many user studies going on uh, uh, from 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 design team. So you've got to get get and and build uh, mockups. Yeah. Uh, there's the product teams, there's you know web product managers, uh, you know engineers, basically front end through a stuff. The the entire, I mean whatever it takes to run run a website, yeah. right? Could and could be technology, product, UX, marketers, yeah. everybody. Is is there also like a someone with an equivalent role like you, uh, but focused on the product itself? You know, that's 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 where I think I come in, or or, or rather, it was was the original idea of, of me working for Kaspersky, where it's it's not only Shiro, but but I also carry this product mentality and come with with uh, you know an approach where where I think a lot about uh, users yeah. and how they see stuff and how they perceive stuff and and that's what is 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 at least is one of the duties of, of product managers is to interact with customers get to know yeah. how they see stuff and and, and fill that gap in, in in such a way where uh, you know the tech team could could understand our requirements and and basically that is is the case where. You know, obviously, uh, Sierra team internally is, is leading this initiative mm -hmm. in, in, in terms of translating certain requirements where where things get simple enough so that it could be built. And and it's it's all about the kind of approach that you take, right? For example, I'm, I'm, I'm a big believer in, in, in lean principles, yeah. in lean methodologies. So, you know, it, that's that's something where... where you yeah, know, the skill set is already there, right? Yeah. 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 The skills is uh, it's already there. It's it's the kind of implementation that you have, and, and this is a this is a big organization. We've got like yeah. five hundred odd teams internally, across across different regions, and 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 the sheer amount of uplift that we could get from from existing traffic is is massive. The yeah. opportunities are massive, and and given this COVID nineteen backdrop, uh, it, you know it's 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 very important that you know uh, we test and learn. Yeah, you know, it's this 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 there's this high scope of, of things that we could actually be uh, you know uh, shipping off. You know, the intensity uh, could could be a lot more, and it's it's also interesting because you, you get to work with with interesting stuff, interesting products, both in B two C and B two B, and and some some of the best, right? Uh, Kaspersky, I mean, at least uh, from from my understanding, uh, just last year alone, we've we've probably bagged nine hundred. Patents across U.S., Europe, China, Russia. So, so you know, when when you're backing patents, that means the product uh, is is pretty good. Yeah. Right. And and we've entered, uh, I think, almost 84 independent uh, test assessments, and and we were number one in 64 out of them, and and at least uh, top three positions in in. In, in almost eighty percentage of those yeah. Uh, tests, yeah. so so that is that is something, you know, uh, your, your product is is a great fit. It's yeah. you know we've been doing a lot, uh, especially for 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 the medical community. Uh, you know, there's this thing where where, where entire product portfolios of Kaspersky were, were free for medical institutions, hospitals, and things like that. Mm -hmm. And and it's, I mean, we, we have that power, right? And and that's something which which comes comes from Eugene, where where he wants to help people out, and 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 you know, uh, you know, not not only Kaspersky or related uh, products and, and cybersecurity alone. He also has this uh, pension for for other startups and things like that for tourism. I mean, if you go look up uh, his Instagram account, he's traveled all places. And and that's where he wants he, he wants to foster the culture of of startups and in, in, in tourism and things like that. So so when when, when you're at that power, when when you have that ability to, to help uh, the society, why not, right? Yeah. And, and yeah, that's, 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 that's the, I, th I think that's very interesting that, that because the, the the skill set that we have as zero can be can be applied across multiple uh, aspects of the company, right? And especially, I mean, yeah. I, I get that. 
uh, CROs often at least first applied in marketing. Uh, that makes sense because that's that's where you usually have the largest numbers. Yeah, if it's on the website, it's it's your own. It's an owned medium, uh, and that's yep. that's where the largest uh, part of your um, um, user or or uh, potential user base is. So you can run experiments there. Uh, but if yep. you're if you're a large enough company, you you can still apply these same uh, methodologies. Uh, to improve the product itself, or the service side, or email. Or, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I mean that's uh, that's how it should be. I mean, yeah. uh, if if you're an enterprise with with, with a lot of uh, you know both both B two C customers, I think we, mm-hmm. we product over four hundred million customers. Exactly. And, and that, that should be yeah, enough traffic to run A B tests. Lot of traffic, right? And, and we've got like. You know, there's, just, there's so many stuff that we could do. I mean, uh, it's tantalizing, you know. Yeah. It's it's that great, and and if, even even on on business side of things, on, on email life cycles and things like that, because you you could bucket everything up, yeah. right? Okay, what what's what's the welcome sequence that should be? But right? that, that's an interesting. But what's, it, what's the nurturing sequence? Yeah. What's the conversion sequence? I mean, what if, if you know, like like I said before, what if people are not responding? What's what's yeah. your win back program going to be like? You, you you could literally keep on employing every single day. Yeah, but that's that's an interesting part. So you you, we, you have so much uh, traffic, so it, it might be like a like a luxury problem. <laughs> uh, but so how do you? The, and and prior, prioritization is something that always comes up uh, almost for for everyone yeah. at every company. So how yeah. do you do? How do you decide? Where you can start working because you have you not only have the website you have so many areas of the business where you have enough traffic enough people to do a b testing um yeah. so where do you guys decide on on what are the big, biggest bottlenecks are in in the whole process of, of the customer journey so, so obviously you know we we follow our own prioritization sequencing and people listening in could could be using something like pi or i or, or any other uh, in a prioritization template, but but it all starts with you know you, you have to measure uh, the kind of metrics that, that you're after, right? You know, for for example, if you're taking landing pages and things like that, if you ask me, I I not only think about uh, getting fast five uh, users on the site, but I also think about having those customers for five years. Yeah. Right. Think think of metrics where you know it's it's uh, you know uh, don't only think about your CAC. The initial uh, traction and and think that okay your ROS is is four is to one or something like that, but think about retention and and especially in, in SaaS businesses and things like that retention is is, is a big thing. What is that you do for yeah. uh, for lifetime value? What what are the aha moments that that you fill across in in the entire journey or, or in the entire life cycle marketing of of, of your end user? Right? Yeah, that's that's what I particularly like usually about SaaS companies. Uh, the, yeah. Often with e-commerce, the focus is really on getting the the customer to buy once because that's that's easy to, to measure, of course. But you know, in the SaaS business, yeah, you you don't really care about that f- that first. I mean, the first <laughs> month it's important, but it doesn't bring you all the money. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not that true. valuable. Yeah. If you just and, look and, at the monthly uh, subscriptions, are, are focusing on, on just buy, 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 buy. Yeah. You, you're missing out a bigger chunk, right? And 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 a bigger challenge also, which which is on on, on retention. Yeah. And and how do you how do you especially say uh, if you're working on, on landing pages, which is more on acquisition, how do you prime users so so that they continue to go yeah. down or, or renew, right? You, you've got uh, n number of possibilities there. Yeah. And, and especially and you know, when you have so much data, you, you can almost start working. Okay, how can we maybe introduce roadblocks actually uh, to prevent yeah. people to sign up that that we already know? Okay, they're just sign going to sign up for one month and leave. <laughs> We're not going to make any money out, uh, out of them. Absolutely. And, and on the other side, if if you have uh, identified a profitable segment, right, or, or a user type, or, or an audience, you know, you could you could also explore further down. Have have sub audiences in type. And and you know see see what works uh, the best. You could, you could have personalized and, and dynamic content, which which is going to speak to them. Yeah. And and that's the whole point, right? You're here to help your end users. You're here to show them what's what's uh, you know uncover uh, product benefits. Yeah. For example. How do you how do you it's experience? Like, yeah. How it's, do you it's, ex- At least in my experience, I've I've never I've never done something where where I get. Uh, you know, keep everything on, on the platter and, and show it to, to the user's face yeah. because that's that's a lot of information uh, overload as well, a, a cognitive load as well. Yeah. So it's it's about understanding 
how how people uh, pursue a particular page i mean if they are experienced users would would, would this call uh, to to the page a lot quicker just uh, you know understanding the key points yeah. or or if it is a novice user who wants simple explanation as to what what a product does so based on that based on such uh, micro essays you could you could actually have, have a better landing page experience yeah. or, or or site wide experience you, you know you you cart values could could literally go up because you've given them such cues and and notions where, where pe- people could actually understand and and understand okay okay this 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 makes sense okay i've not thought about this particular question and it's good that the site is 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 has covered this in an faq section for example yeah it's it's about that uh you know uncovering the journey and and actually uh you know uh, having this laid out to them where where they understand that okay this is how it should be in in an ideal world and this yeah. is what i'm getting right it's 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 about you know this there's always this notion of uh you know uh, perceived price versus perceived uh, cost associated mm-hmm. to that and 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 obviously that's that's where you come in and, and show them the value for for a particular server or sort of, uh, or or a particular product and yeah. and why they should be using it and and it's it's not always a yes trap because it's not like you know i i come to you and say hey guy do you have a minute uh, so that i can i can explain this to you right yeah you know you're, you're like oh, okay stay away <laughs> <laughs> or, or you're like no never <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so that's 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 where i understand what's what's your pain point and, yeah. and ask you know uh, what if i i did this to to uh, solve your pain point would would you be interested to know that or or you know uh, or, or, or do you think that you should just let that go by yeah you know, you're like no let me know what 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 he's talking about right yeah and 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 just change that perception where where you bring in the actual benefit then then being more saturated than being you know you know this there's the sea of sameness right yeah. how how do you differentiate marketing budgets have suffered and the share for ab testing has been impacted too if you want to keep testing to enterprise standards but save 80% on your annual contract you can consider convert.com with their summer release you can take advantage of full stack and hybrid features strong privacy compliance no blink and enterprise grade security Feel good about your smart business decision. Invest what you save back in your zero program. Check out www.convert.com/2020. Are there like any any uh, particular things that you do within uh, within the company to build on that that zero culture to get more people on board with okay, let's let's do uh, experiments and uh, let's validate stuff in, in, instead of just implementing? Yeah, that's 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 a great question, and 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 that's what I think uh, the the Andros Hero team is working on, and and actually building a sphere of influence, and and how do we do that, right? We, we do that by being uh, transparent, by showing them, you know, look, look look at the kind of wins that we are actually winning in your market, and and this is what we, we we could actually be doing, and and also go a step forward and and help them understand by. by showing them certain frameworks and things like that and and explain to them that you could actually be doing this yeah yeah and and it start a uh, notion of of every employee contributing right let let them start contributing let let the shareholder team do the prioritization yeah you know based based on the kind of metrics that that we're tracking but uh, how, if, how, if are you, how are you how are you how are you explaining <laughs> zero to people that that mm-hmm. are not familiar with it how how do you uh, what what are the <laughs> tactics that you apply <laughs> uh to convince it's, them hey you should be you should be doing doing this or or let me validate this or or however it's yeah. arranged but how do you, how do you yeah, try to convince them it's 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 more like uh you know a couple of things could happen one if if there's an already a believer in the room right who understands that your your is good and and we we should invest behind that mm-hmm. the other thing is there's a non believer in the room right and and that's where it gets interesting and and you want to get to a common point right this this analogy of me speaking earlier of of nodding uh yes to to everything what whatever you you read yeah and and how how do you get to uh, to a common uh, point you know for example if 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 there's there's a room full of such people you ask them uh, do you think you you're the most uh, smartest person in the room yes or no right they might say 
maybe not the smartest, right? You, you, you reach to that common point. And, and that's what data helps in, in, in removing all those assumptions and, and opinions and all of that. Mm-hmm. I am not the smartest in the room as well. It's understanding that notion and, and coming up with hypothesis that actually create an impact. So, so that is where you've actually shown to them that this is how it, it in a way, unfolds. I, I, I think when, when I would ask uh, people if they think they're smart in the room, that almost feels like insulting. <laughs> it's almost indirectly oh, yeah, implying yeah, that, yeah. that they're stupid. You could also uh, change that and, and ask, who do you consider is, is the smartest in the room right now? Fair enough. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 And, and they might say one of their colleagues or, or the manager either goes upstream or, or downstream or whoever is, is young or new. And, and this, there's a point uh, from, from where we could actually start from, right? Yeah. And, and, and we, we, we could, you know, I've, I've used prioritization templates where, you know, uh, including uh, on, on the client side, I've, I've let them score hypothesis based yeah. on their assumptions, based on their biases and things like that. And, and collectively, I've, I've taken a, a prioritization score and, and uh, gone ahead with, with, with experiments because... Yeah. You know, what, what you have to also understand is that there are certain certain thoughts and processes that, that I don't understand. Yeah, that, that a particular company understands or a particular person who's, who's head of a department understands. Mm-hmm. And he's going to see that uh, in, in, his, uh, in his opinion and, and great stuff. I mean, I might have uh, the greatest test idea and, and things like that. What if the engineering implementation took like, you know, 10 or 15 days? <laughs> You know, you'll you have to weigh uh, certain benefits and, and actually show traction, right? Yeah. And, and that's that's in, in your hardcore metrics that you follow, in, in the yeah. kind of uh, uplift and, yeah. and in the kind of revenue that you're getting. Yeah. And obviously, you should you, you, you should not shy away from, from A-B testing errors, type 1 and type 2, false positive, false negative, and things like that. Yeah. You, your sample size has to, I mean, even if you hit 99% structural significance, there's, there's no harm in running that for, for two or three more weeks. Yeah. You know, just just to be pretty uh, damn sure that 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 it's that's what is is actually working, and so and, and yeah, you have um, um, accumulated quite some uh, some experience now with uh, with uh, Stiro. W- what is an insight that you think you might have that others that are listening right now might not have? What what what, what is something that you've figured out <laughs> that we can that we can <laughs> that we can use in our work? I, I think- yeah, I think I think what what I've actually figured out as as, as a consultant much much before joining Kaspersky was, mm-hmm. you know, I was, I was seeing a repeated trend of, of similar problems coming up, right? Similar problems that needs to be answered, same set of questions, and and same set of uh, you know word it's like Samantha, we did everything. There's no way in the world that you could improve uh, conversion rate. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or Data will be improved. <laughs> You know that's that's where uh, I, I saw two aspects to this this particular thing. Where where one I thought you know in, in all these uh, in, in all these cracks uh, you know there, there were, you know there's, there's there's always a consultant who could who could build a product to fix such problems. Yeah. It, you know, it could be anything. Either you you super zoom in and, and build a product, or you go out large, bundle everything, and, and make a product and, and solve. Such problems. So that's that's one insight that, that I figured out. And on the other hand, in a sense, it is it is almost rudimentary, right? Uh, even if you stand and deliver outstanding results, it's like you know uh, this 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 is what we had agreed upon, and, and that's it. The engagement is is done. Yeah, and 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 our it's like the same questions uh, that that keeps on repeatedly uh, coming at you, and and this 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 notion where where at least I felt that you know consulting could actually come with with an expired date there, there could be active consultants doing you know doing great stuff uh, mm-hmm. you know get, getting paid greatly as well but I think at at, at some point in time you, you'll have to think about uh, making money from from product I mean how long could could you keep on doing consulting right it's, just not it's, it's usually limited, and at least how uh, most work is, is limited to the hours you can put in, right? And there's only so much uh, yeah, hours a week. Yeah, and and 
and and if if you and and it's great that you you've done that you you observed companies at at close quarters and and you you might come up with with certain uh, yeah. product ideas and actually build it and that's going to make you money while while you're sleeping <laughs> that's nice that that's what we all want right <laughs> <laughs> so what, yeah. what are the, so sp- speaking of uh, uh making money while sleeping uh, <laughs> what are the things you want to improve or or change uh in the coming 12 months what what are the things you're working on the projects that you're excited about you know there's there's, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening at at Kaspersky tight lipped yeah <laughs> <laughs> but but you know you know obviously we're, in general we're, terms <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in general terms, we're, we're, we're hellbound on, on improving user experience. Uh, there's there's a lot of stuff which which we're actually doing. You know, you could you could just imagine uh, the kind of sheer amount of work that we're doing, right? Like two years of work which is being shipped in six months. So so there's there's a lot of uh, testing velocity which is coming yeah. in. There's, there's there's a lot of velocity around, and, mm-hmm. and it's that's that's great for 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 any organization, right? Because if if somebody is is all uh, uh, you know, perked up and, and is jumping with energy. That that's fresh. You know, every each and every organization within that within that strata that energy spread. And that's where I see Kaspersky at. Uh, you know, the sheer number of projects, the number of tests that we're doing, the number of uh, yeah. you know impact and results that we're seeing. You know, the test and analysis, the impact and all of that. It's 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 hit that uh, great pace, and then things are slowly uncovering. Uh, you know, where where we're actually expanding and 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 uh, taking that to different markets, uh, coming with with different insights, and that leads to you know new set of hypotheses, new sets of testing ideas, and 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 that's how it is. There's there's always progress, yeah. and as long as there's progress, it's it's better than perfection, right? We we're just going out, getting getting things done. And, oh. and there's there's positive positive stuff coming out of that. We're optimizers, right? So we also like to optimize yeah. the way we optimize. So that's yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very meta. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Th- thank you so much uh, uh, for sharing all your your thoughts uh, about this uh, in the podcast. Uh, like I said in the beginning, you've you've been listening to a couple of episodes uh, yourself too. So who do you think I should be asking uh, on the show? Who do who do you want to listen to? You know, I think. You know, I've, I've been mentored by uh, Jacob Linowski. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the guy runs uh, goodui.org. Yeah, he's, he's the editor in chief, and and you know, I think uh, I'm not sure if he's if he's doing an episode before, but but you know that that guy keeps on testing a lot. There's just so many stuff that he's been doing on goodui.org. Yeah. I think which 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 would be a, a nice addition. Uh, to to this show as well, and, and for and, the people that don't know the the website, he he basically uh, um, monitors a lot of those uh, the bigger websites like Booking, uh, Bull, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Netflix. Uh, Netflix those, as well, yeah. those are things that uh, yeah. regularly come up, and he he basically monitors them uh, for for changes on the website, uh, yeah. and 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 the tests they are running, and and sharing those results with us. It's 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 more on his he's also gung ho about uh, you know, repeatability of, of winning tests yeah. across segments and and he's, he's got a big big data repository of such tests. I, yeah. I think he'll he'll be he'll be a valuable addition. Mm-hmm. And 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 you know we've been tight lipped on 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 Kaspersky, so so maybe our VP of digital Ivan Imhoff next time when when there's there's a bit of relaxation yeah. and, and stuff where where he could. You know, maybe literally walk you through around on the kind of stuff we've been doing, hopefully. Mm-hmm. And 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 his his. his I'm pretty sure guy, you can you can introduce yeah. me to uh, Ivan, right? <laughs> Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> for sure. Let's do that. Thanks. And, and as, a, as a final uh, question for you, and any zero related books that you'd like to tip to our audience? What, what did you enjoy reading uh, lately? Uh, you know, one of the best absolute uh, gold standards, at least in my uh, eyes, is, is, is Dr. Flint McLaughlin. He's got McLabs, Marketing SharePoint, okay. and a, a bunch of... Uh, you know, courses as well on, on learning page optimization, on, on online testing and, and all of that. He's written this this great book which is called as uh, you know marketer as, as a philosopher. Yeah. And and and, and there's a great of bunch uh, good stuff on you know in terms of his qualified uh, how how conversion sequence would, would would come out to be. He's got a formula for conversion, so to speak. <laughs> okay. Uh, out of th- thirty odd years of marketing research, you know, he, it, it goes something like this: C is equal to four M 
plus 3b plus 2 whole of i minus f minus 2a. There you go. You're, you're, you're a zero, no? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. We, we don't need and, and those just, uh, elaborate courses or uh, education. It's, it's just simple as we, that we one single we, formula. We, we do need it, but, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's, it's simple and, and very profound. Yeah. Right. And, and this, uh, uh, you know, the C stands for obviously the conversion sequence. Uh, the M in that stands for motivation. V in that stands for the force of value proposition. I stands for incentives, F stands for fictional elements present on, on the site, and A is, is anxiety elements. So obviously, you know, these, these are all the kind of heuristics that, that come into picture, and, mm -hmm. and he's, he's just given a magnitude for, for each of this. I mean, if, if you're highly motivated, even if there are 100 hurdles, you're going to cross all of them. Right? And, and that's where the magnitude of, of motivation is the highest, which is 4M. Next comes the force of value proposition, which is 3V. Right, uh, the next biggest uh, in an entity with, with with the magnitude. Yeah. If the force of value proposition is that high, then then obviously you're going to uh, uh, go ahead. Similarly for for incentives, for friction and, and anxiety elements. And if you've removed anxiety elements, which is minus two a in the in the formula, then that's that's great. Good good for users. Good good for the site because you know you've not induced anxiety uh, or or bias remorse, for example. You bought a product and and you're anxious that okay you've not made a made the right decision. So, so things like that. So, so Hess book is, is, is a great read, uh, which, which is, you know, marketer as, as, as a philosopher, he, he goes a lot of uh, good stuff yeah. on, 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 on bias psychology and on, on, on how you have to actually uh, uh, do, do things. Yeah. So that's there. And, and, and there's, there's so many books, right? I mean, I, I could there also list. There are a lot of books, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Reich on, on, on the Lean Startup. Marketing yeah. books. And so we have, uh, I'm, I'm collecting a list of books uh, that, that uh, Ciro's uh, um, basically well, recommends. Uh, I mean, there, there are so many marketing books, but on uh, Ciro.cafe slash books, I'm trying to collect uh, yeah. all of the books that our uh, guests uh, recommend. Um, I'm, 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 I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure so, some, some of these might, might have, uh, come, you know, uh, might have popped up earlier as well. Th this one hasn't been in there uh, yet, so I'll definitely yeah. add that to the list. And for people that nice. uh, want to read uh, more about this, uh, the the conversion uh, formula, 4M plus 3V plus 2 times uh, 1 minus F minus 2A, <laughs> that That's might be I a bit abstract, incentive. but there's, there will be more uh, <laughs> yeah. information about that uh, in, the, in the show notes yeah. if you want to, uh, to read about that. Um, Samantha, so thank you so much for sharing all this information uh, with us and uh, sharing uh, sharing your story, starting with uh, uh, evaluating movies. I think that's a, that's a background I hadn't heard before. Uh, I think that's yeah. that's a great uh, great background for uh, for a zero uh, specialist. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And this concludes Season 2, Episode 44 of the Zero Cafe Podcast with Sumantha Sankaranarayana from Kaspersky Labs. Next Monday, I talk with Johnny Longdon from Journey Further about embedding experimentation into agile product development. Talk to you then and always be optimizing. <laughs>